Music not day. I think uh, I feel see Benin music play for now. Nah. On Sunday I play Benin music for now. Nah. Mm. When I do it all, I think I look different. Um, uh, I don't like my new look. I need to grow my hair. No, I don't bop this hair in life. In this life. Let me bob this hair again. No, I have to support England. Until England return our artifacts, they will never win any cup in this life. So we don't swear for England. I will give you. Until they return our cup, they will never win any cup. Until they return our artifacts, they will never win any cup in this life. I am a I am a 
They return an artifact before the next World Cup. You see, England will win World Cup. So anyway, what time is it? So let's give about um, five minutes to ten minutes for all of us to share the video so that we can have larger views. Uh, we have very important things to talk about. You know, kind. So, so that um, we can have a larger audience to also talk about my trip to Ghana and then just to also appreciate everybody that made it very quite possible for our trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, no. Jamie, not Tiffan from us. No, no, British Tiffan from us. So, Jamie, not get issue. England of you will be man. <laughs> so England the man so so my wave you you mean we we and no we road potato. Mamu dan. Anyway. Sorry, I'm unable to entertain all of you. I was supposed to play very cool video music on the background. But when I see, see, this is my new look. I don't like her. I don't like her. See how my head you're dry, you know? Uh, my head you're come big. My head you're come big. My head you're come big. See you hope around me, brother. My wife twenty. I'll be twenty today. No, nah, Kev Khalifa. No, 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 no. Mune do game was too important. So, not to say we may be big games be full there. But because the message Edo people sent me, the ancestors sent me, was too big. So I had to focus. I had to focus. <laughs> so, but I told them, I told them, say, I will come when they do not send me a message. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll go do two weeks for there. Two weeks. By that time, ancestors will not send me a message, so they're not free. They're not free use Koboko to lash me. <laughs> if I begin to give all those people uh, Bele. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a gentle guy. <laughs> I'm on a Hello, Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, sick boy, no. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. No, 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 no. I'm still, I'm still the only husband material remaining <laughs> in a do state. The only husband material. <laughs> My care. I give me as my material I do.
Relax, relax. When you're on my platform, you relax, Mr. Collins, forever young. When you're on my platform, relax. We will talk you through your tire, but cool off. All right? All right, cool off. So that means some people, all the late comers, may they not come, they'll come, they say, uh, um, with the late comments, when they not come, they they say, ah, we also we have missed to this class. But well, I try to, I try to give about um, about ten minutes, ten minutes of um, of grace, or about ten fifteen minutes. What time is it? About ten fifteen minutes of grace for other people to join us. Then we we'll, we we'll hit. You know, my programs don't last long. Once I hit it running, forty five minutes. I'm done. My classes, my talks are not bogus. They are not lengthening. Okay, so once I hit it running, I'll just re hit it as as fast as I possibly can, so that we can get done for our class. Or tell me, a do we or for or tell me, ye. Paul, tell me. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Mr. Jolly or Dion Oko, Wesley, or Bota Teme, Ugbo, Frank Nero. <laughs> that name, na, na paparazzi name, in the Nawayadi you know. <laughs> Frank Nero. <laughs> uh, DJ I, I see you, my brother. I'm your way. Uh, <laughs> that level won't talk for the, our last class for that Japanese. <laughs> A fine, fine babe. It's still there on my mind. I never forget. Call mm. uh, Domo. Mr. Osadolo Kingsley. Okay. All right. First and foremost, I first of all want to make a very big thank you to a lot of you, a lot of you basically, that has um, always believed in me for all over the years. You guys are most wonderful. Um... I'm not a very difficult person to work with. I'm not a very difficult person to work with. I listen a lot. And when some persons call me and they tell me that uh, we don't know whether it is too, it is too, it is too late. Whether how, whether they can, whether I have the time to discuss a lot of these things. I've been someone who has been privileged to have listened to a couple of very old people, old men and women calling to appreciate my immense knowledge about our people and trying to learn one or two things through me about the, our people. I feel so very privileged. I feel, I feel humbled by that because I understand that some of these persons, not that I know these things more than them, but because they appreciate that I pick interest in some certain things that in recent times has eluded our people. And I try to be as objective as possible. And I think one unique thing that I feel that is special about me as a person is this. I don't believe that my opinion is superior. I don't believe. I do not belong to that kind of school where when I give a historical narration or whenever I have a perception about things, I always say that that's my opinion because I believe that no matter how beautiful, no matter how true, or no matter how wrong your opinion is, someone must have a contradictory opinion. And sometimes when you, when you are intelligent enough to know that your opinion was wrong, you can make amends. And I think that's what life is all about. I don't feel that I have never always believed that uh, when some people, a lot of persons who have been following me, when some people try to like, ah, Ma, is, is all the way you're good? And I was like, no, 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 no. Um, I, res I remember one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite proverb about um, when Isaac Newton was asked about how brilliant, how his inventions were, he had said that he was able to see f further than he was ought to see because he stood on the shoulders of greater people. So I've always been privileged to share that kind of experience with our people that have been very privileged in life. So I've met very intelligent Edo people, very old 
wiser do people that have been that have been humble enough to learn a lot of things from them. And everything that I have that I know today is attributed is attributed to them for their Ganeshi, for their intelligence, for their tutoring, for most importantly, importantly, for their mentoring. So, and um, I, I hold a very, a very high depth of gratitude to um, a lot of these Edo people who are not popular, but they have done so much for this land by documentations and then by be able to inspire a lot of us who pick interest in this kind of conversation, in this kind of topics, in this kind of um, in this kind of um, discussion, yeah, in this kind of discussion, so that we can. I can also be able to share some of the knowledge that they have shared with me with, the, with all of you, with all of you. So thank you very much. I look good. Okay, I think I've said that. Okay. Yeah, my trip to Ghana. My trip to Ghana. I've, um, I've been on several historical trips. For some of you who have been following me for years, I've been on several historical trips. All of them has been fulfilling. All right, all of them has been very fulfilling. Well, you see that trip I went to Agra, Accra, was most fulfilling amongst all of the trips that I've attended because. It makes me to understand some of the things that we take in as leverage, like something, some certain things that is unimportant to us, some certain things that we don't see as very important to us as a people. I feel that our people still lack foresight about things. The world is moving. The world is dynamic. People are conquering through intellect. All right? We have, we have been too relaxed as a people. We, we, we believe that we have to sit down for the people to come to us and say, oh, bad talk, baby, and all of that. Times have changed. The Benin should go out. The Benin should move. The Benin should dialogue. The Benin should build bridges. Don't even build self. We should construct from the very beginning. I was for another bridge. I was for a ball. We are too relaxed. See, eh? I was told reliably. I don't want to mention names. I know say they like mention names, but I don't want to mention names. How some top traditional rulers in Yoruba land has been frequently every year going to the Ga people to dialogue, to negotiate, to turn the historical narratives of our land around. To turn it around. It's just like our people don't get in, they don't get interested in intellectual things. Things that we change the perceptions people are having about them in the next 20 years. People will not get to appreciate all I have done in these three, four years. But in the next 20 years, in the next 30 years, you people will see that. I am I'm thinking beyond the present day limitations of our confinement. I'm thinking beyond that because I feel that we have to move, we have to negotiate, we have to build bridges of our people. There are a lot of our people that are scattered all over, all over, all over the world. They yearns for us, but we have not been making practical effort to get them back. Yorubas are stylishly, hungrily, diplomatically 
taking all of these places from us. While we are sitting confidently, confidently in our small miniature seven local government that we think we're not control. We should start telling ourselves the truth. I drink Campari. Mm. <sighs> we are not. We slept off in the past one around 24 years. We slept off. We don't even know. We don't even know what's going on. Do you know? Until a few days ago. Until a few days ago, the Nongwan people could not separate the difference between Ilevi and Benin. Until just a few days ago, because we are sitting in Benin City here, or sitting in our confinement, and Shati Edo is Why people are thinking, people who are originally or who shared it, the same ancestry or the same history with you people are thinking differently because they have not been told how it is. They have a festival called Obeni Shimon. One of their brightest historians, if you look at the video, although it wasn't showed, I will, I will, I, 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 give, my, I give my video editor, I've given all the pieces. The one that I published was the one they did. So they didn't want to show where all the, the, one of their historians, one of their brightest is a reverend, where he was saying that Benin is Ileife, or Benin is from Ileife. You know, that Obenin people, they are from Ileife and all of that. That's the argument that they pointed out. If you see the beginning of the video when I started talking, when I said, before I read the speech, I wanted to make a correction to explain who Oduduwa is. Because to them, they are, we are Oduduwa's children. That's how they see it. Because as a narration, they have been given by those, we call them liars. But it is working for them because they are going out. Because they know that the Benin people will not go out. Benin people will not move. Benin people are confident in saying, Edo is Shagmo. Edo, Agasoge, Edo, Edo, John. Edo, Agasoge, no, 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 no. Those are primordial sentiments. We have to agree such primordial sentiment. Times have changed. If we don't go out, we might not even get four local governments in the next 15, 20 years. Or sorry, in the next 100 years. Because people are beginning to see that these people are too comfortable. That is why you see even Hamlet of King. That's why you see the Indigo, the temerity that the Igbo people have to one say they want to establish an easy Indigo in the old land. Because they say that they are, they are raised my own. social media, not the matter they die. But I've lived beyond social media. I go there to investigate the truth. I'm not going to tell you the truth. There were some Europe, there are Yoruba people on this forum. They probably are listening now. If they don't listen now, probably they're going to get the video later. A lot of them has argued with me that the Gar people are purely Yoruba people. And I want to challenge them with an authority of the real history of the, of the Gar people. I want to challenge them. Let them bring controversy. Let, let them bring references because I'm going to challenge them because I, I got an investigation as rightly be told by the owners of this history. We are too relaxed. We are too relaxed. We don't even know what's going on. Times are changing. By the beings are, are sitting. That the world should come and bow to them on their feet. <laughs> the world doesn't go like that. I was told, I've repeated this statement a thousand times on the, my platform. I was told that in order for the Benin people to be great again, they have to be humble enough to be great again. We have to show humility. We have to constantly visit these people. We have to constantly show our, show our relationship to these people. We have to constantly interact with these people. We have to appreciate these people. These people.
people by rights are even richer than us. A lot of these people by rights, they are doing pretty well than us. They are comfortable than us. I'm not sure, I'm not sure any person that is all wants to like, oh. So, do you think a lot of these people will be killing themselves to identify themselves as Benin? Oh, yeah, they appreciate that they are from Benin. They do. As a matter of fact, they, they do. There's nothing that can ever separate because one of the biggest festivals in their land is a festival that reenact the day they left Benin. The Obeneshimo. It's actually called Woi Beneshimo. The festival that reenact the day they left. There's already that history. It's never... They're never going to forget it for the rest of till the end, world ends, if there's anything like that. But do they know who those Benins are? They just know that there's a Benin in, in, in Nigeria. But they are actually confused that till, till I address them, they are taught that Benin was somewhere inside the leaf. You think it's funny? A lot of you might say, hey. <laughs> I can't believe you. That's what they think. That is what a lot of people will continue to think if we don't start going out. If we don't start going out. If we don't start going out to meet with these people. That's what they think. That's what they believe. Edwin, Edigin, to answer your question is very simple. Most times, a lot of us try to bring sentiment about history. Not everybody was driven out. For example, I presume maybe you might be in London and you're a Benin man. What drove you out from Benin? Were you driven out? Some people left Benin because of the hardship. Some people left Benin because they wanted a green, a green pasture. But some people left Benin not because Benin was bad, but because they wanted to check environment. Some people left Benin because they wanted to school. They wanted to have a better degree. So people live anywhere for different historical reasons, not necessarily because they were driven out. So let's get those things clear. Not all of these Benin descendants were driven out. As a matter of fact, none of them were ever driven out. They left because they were uncomfortable. They wanted to build their country. If 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 I get too ambitious. As a person, I feel that, okay, I'm a prince. I'm supposed to be the Oba Rabinion, for example. I couldn't be. Then I was like, oh, well, I have to go build my kingdom. It doesn't mean I was driven out. So a lot of people try to bring sentiment about histories and all of that. But let's start getting a lot of these things clear. When a family is too big, they are bound to be emigration. And emigrations are good. Today, we won't be talking about their Benin people or people... People that has ancestral relationship or ancestral blood, ancestral bond with the Benin people in faraway Accra, if these people did not leave. It doesn't matter what, what made them to leave. The most important thing is that these people share blood with us, shared history with us, shared ancestry with us. That's good enough. That's, <laughs> that's good enough. But the bottom line is this. We have to go all out. To retrieve, not technically retrieve, but to get our people back. Man, those people are so fucking serious about their festival. Everywhere was shut down from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. It'd be like it'd be like carnival. Now carnival. Party everywhere. Nobody won't go walk. Ah man. <laughs> I for spent city weeks. I never supposed to come back to Nigeria self. <laughs> when I find me walk for Accra. Let <laughs> me ask you why now. <laughs> I want to live on for this in Nigeria. Man, I'm relocating to my own sec my second home. <laughs> Accra Marina. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> All right. The bottom line is this. Let's get some certainty clear. The 
present day God people and not listen very well and not originally originally from Benin. They are not originally from Benin. They are not originally from Benin. All right. They migrated all the way from Philistines through Egypt, through the Nile, through the land of the Kosh. They got to Benin. And they spent hundreds of years. Marriages, relationship were struck. Um, families intermarry. That is when the cultivation of ancestry was built. We married from them, they married from us. So we now had blood relationship. By that, they became our kids and kin. And by that, we also became their kids and kin. So by nature, gas are Benin. Benins are gas. The original gas migrated through the Benin land, but stayed there for hundreds of years. Marriages, intermarriages occurred. And by that right, we became a guy. The guy became Benin. Understand? And also, I life for history. We have to put the history in the right perspective. Shared correspondences an ancestry was struck, was formed through marriages. There was a conflict at one point in time in the kingdom. And these people who have been so missed with the Benin people, although still created a niche for themselves, still recognized that they came from somewhere, though they have been too far off being in this land. It's just like the Olu of Wari, for example. He has a Benin ancestry. But he's an Ishekiri man of today. Likewise, these people, they have their ancestry, but they can be ascribed, they are Benin people of today. So there was, there, there was a conflict. They needed to leave the Benin land. So two groups, they split into two groups. The first group was to leave first two batches. The first group was to leave first. And that first group that left, they were larger in population. They were farmers. They were all kinds of minia. They were artisans. They were farmers. They were fishermen. They were all kinds of them. There were no warriors. There were no habilis. They were no, you understand? This first group had the children, you know, they, they were the lazy, the weak part of this gap Benin people, I say. They left one way or the other. They found their, while going through, living Benin land, they found their way in Ileife. They, they passed through the Ileife land. Listen, so that we get this very history clearly. They passed through the Ileife land. Now, the second group that did not leave eventually left a few months later after the first group had left. That group that left, the, se the second group that left Benin, uh, how do I put it? The group that left Be Benin late did not branch any other place until the present day Accra. We understand. We should get this thing very clearly. We should get this thing very clearly. <laughs> I 
I will run live now. We should get this thing very clear. I want us to get this very, this history very clear. All right. Mm. Do we understand the narrative? We don't understand so that we can we can do a recap. <laughs> A lot of, there could have been a lot of names for the conflicts. No one can really tell what could have been the cause of the conflicts. But there was a conflict. They needed to leave. And um, they needed to leave. The first group passed through Ilefe. The second group left Benin straight to the present day Accra. Years after, years after, the second group that left Benin first came to meet this. Sorry, the first group that branched through Ilefe, the larger Gar people, came to meet the second group that left Benin directly to that land, who were magicians, who were sorcerers, who were warriors. It is the second group that left Benin directly to the present day Accra that now gave lands. I want us to get something clear because there's a conflict so that we understand how it is. O tu nike kekba o kase ekenagiti Accra that got there first. Those are side talks. Those are side talks. Got there first. Okay? Now, they now became more of like the... They meant some aboriginals, which they called the inquants. They absorbed the aboriginals. who now became part. That second group that left are called the Nongwa. The Nongwa people. The Nongwa people. All right? They are actually the aboriginal, per se, owner of Accra. The second group that left, that, brand, that passed through Ife, years later, came to meet the Nongwa people already established in that land. Are the Nongwa people already the the second group, sorry, the first group that left Benin, that now passed through Ife, they now met the second group that left Benin, but they went straight to the present. That became the aborigine. So the aborigine now of the same stock, they were, these are called the Nongwa people. They were not, they not became the aboriginals of Accra. They were not the one who gave lands to the other Ga people. That is Ga Adag, Dagmen. Ga Dagmen. That's why they are called Ga Dagmen states. All right. They, every other person that came to Accra met the Nongwa people. It is the Nongwa people that gave all of these people lands to settle. Now, you listen very well. That is why in Ga, in Ga, some part of Ga believes they came from Ilefe. Why some Ga believes that they came from Benin? Why some part of God, some part of God believes that they came from Ilefe. Why some part of God believes, no, I force I show you, you will go to Ghana, you will go ask them the conflict. Mm? You will go to Ghana, yeah? Mm. So, not be only me, go, not be only me, you will the same message. You go ask them for that conflict. We have a year Ghana, so at least go Ghana. What was the what was the conflict? I want to answer that. All right. So that is why they are of two opinions. They are of the two opinions. But in the real sense, even those ones that claim they came from Ileife came from Benin. So they have 
a king and a tradition, a traditional, they have more of like a priestly king, an administrative king. The priestly king is called the Garmanche. The Garmanche. Sorry, the, the administrative king is called the Garmanche. That's the one that the present day only is frolicking with. All right, that's the present one that the present one is for leaking with the government, the administrative king. Now, the traditional king is called the Bobu Wolumo, the one that I took, I took pictures with. All right, the one that I took pictures with is the it is the overlord of the Gadnagme state. So, in other words, the Ganmanche, who is the administrative king of the Ga people, before he ascend the throne, must be purified and certified as a king under the shrine of the Bobo Wolumo, who is the overlord. A very good example is the Yoruba people. By conquest, administrative, the administrative and the political head of the Yoruba people is the laughing of Oyo. But they say the On is the traditional head. So because On is the traditional head, that makes him the, the leader of the Yoruba people. If by that definition, Bobu Wolumo, all right, who is from the Nungwa clan, who is the overlord of the Gadagma state, by that definition also should be the head of the entire Ga people. I don't understand. Do you understand the conflict? Do you understand the conflict? Do you understand the history? They left Benin. Some group left Benin and passed through Ileife. Those are the ones that the Onis are for leaking with to tell them that they are from Ileife. But the people who had left originally from Benin is the one telling those other Ga people that, no, now, nah, have you guys forgotten history? We are all together as one family in Benin. We sent you people ahead of time. All right, because you were farmers, you were cultivators. You can't be able to look for a, 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 an arable land for us. After some months, we did not hear from you. So we had to join in out of Benin. And when we got to Accra, we were here for years before you people eventually came to meet us. Then why are you not saying that you are from Ileife? <laughs> when we both left Benin. Do you, I answer. Do, 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 do you understand the truth now? <laughs> uh, they say, do I this way. I always boss lie. They always boss lie. And that is the story. And that is the history. So if any God person tells you that is from Ileife, that they left Ileife. This is the true story. There were just a branch that passed through Ileife land from Benin. <laughs> mm. So when one of the one of the historian was trying to tie us with Oduduwa and Ileife, was trying to say that the Benin is under Ileife and that sort of a thing. Then I asked him a question that probably could have calmed him down to see the reality. Ask him that, sir. All of the festivals in the Garland, all of the festivals in Garland, why is not why is anyone not dedicated to Ileife or to Odudua or to any Yoruba people? That's a question that I ask. Why is any of this story? Why is any of the festival not named after Ileife or to Oduduwa or to any of the Yoruba? Why is the festival that you celebrate for, for about six months, a climaxes on the first Saturday of every July, every year? And that festival is Obene Chimu. If you're actually from Ileife, why is it not Ileife Shimon? <laughs> the 
Good on answer that question. That's when he turned on him. That uh, <laughs> Zodu is <a> Zodu. <laughs> that's when he turned on him. He turned, he turned on him. Because that's the truth. There's a festival that reenacts the day they left Benin. No festival of sorts. We are not the day they left the day fair. No such festival. So the truth is glaring. We don't need foreign historians. We don't need anybody to write any other story to tell you this is a clear story. The Nongwa people, where the Gobo Woloma is from, their four houses is rotated amongst the, the, whoever the, who, the spiritual head of the Ga people is rotated around four families. I was taken around the four families. These four families are painted with different colors. I think the present family is from the pink house. The pink house royal line. Their names are very long, but their title is the Gobu Woloma. You can call them the Chise. The Chise. All right? <laughs> the Chise. <laughs> no, no, no. My brother was there with me. Frost Lock. Uh, this is my brother. I've been one use food. Key me. Wanna help me? Thank this, my brother. Osma of Yahweh. Tell you, I've been one. I understand. Knowledge just that, you know. I mean, more on the son of one man. But, you know, like I said at the beginning, being that I, I had, I was on a mission. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't concentrate on all those worldly things. <laughs> I didn't want to do worldly things. I don't want to do any of those worldly things, so I got there on my own. But next time, I will be worldly. <laughs> you understand? So that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> no, he took care of my brother. I had uh, another of my brother, um, David. Uh, um, David was around me. There's one Asian brother of mine. One Asian brother of ours. It was most astounding. He was even a journalist. Um, he said he was going to publish my speech on one of the top um, newspapers as a journalist was with me. Then I eventually ran into a couple of our brothers and I even ran into Taj, one of my very good brother from the Shekiri. They always said me at the Accra Mall. They want his Hennessy finished finish my career. <laughs> they want about, to, God, to God, to the glory of God and our ancestors, I made it back alive from enjoyment. <laughs> even if it was Briefly, it is not short. When it's some boom boy we do one, wow wow man, lele. But when I tell you enjoyment, it boring one. Had an amazing time. At least we're not the huge generator. <laughs> not the huge generator for that side. Even not even not let that one. No generator sound. How I enjoy it. So. It is about it is about it. We need to get a lot of these things clear. That's the history. That's the true position of the history. If anybody tells you that this is like one guy, um, I think the, the video was posted on YouTube. Uh, someone posted on on, on Nebu TV the video. So some Yoruba guys are already. You know, see when when they just see Zodua Udu Afiamaiwa Afinya. Probably I what is what is this boy see go do for? I don't go do anything. Our ancestors sent me a message. Now nah, go there. And as, as usual, I delivered. As usual, I delivered. I came up with the authentic history. So you see them saying that. Only of only of if I have been visiting. This is the true position of the history. They passed through the Ilefe. From, from Benin. They came from Benin and passed through. I think uh, the guy, the, the man who left who, who led the, the Nongwa people is called Bokate, Latte Bokate something. Uh, I'll send I'll send the picture. The man who led the Nongwa, 
the second badge from Benin Street to 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 Accra. It's called uh, La La Twe Bocati something. That's his name. Bocati B O R K A T E Y Bocati Latte Bocati. That's how they pronounce it, but I think that's how it is. That's how they spell it. You know. Those stories are visible. So anyway, I went there, saw a lot of those things, I acknowledged that they also have Ulakba, they also have Red Sand, they are also artists. They are also, though they are goats meters. And um, there are all the similarities that we are trying to also establish on my journey. But like the overlord said that a big conference that's what he said that the big conference should be organized where the the ga people of the nongwa stock because the ga people of the nongwa stock really knows the story not the the other parts of the not the other part that believes they come from Ilefe. they are saying there should be a conference and that conference, that conference should be Benin scholars and the Nongwa scholars to come together for cultural differences, cultural similarities, and infusions of our ideas. So it's already the overlord is already looking forward to it's already, it's already looking forward. Um just a minute. The Just a minute. I want to. I want to show you people the gift that and uh, the 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 overhead the overlord gave to me. So to me, take, take the key. Now. Does that get open? Okay. No, they are ready to come for a festival. In short, some of the princes and some of the princesses were in talk. We spoke at length, and they are coming for a great festival. But we have to be very prepared for them, like very, very prepared for them, because the one use the hosted means they almost almost fainted. I want to show uh, someone want to help me bring some some certain things. I want to show all of you. So the overlord had to give me a, a whole lot of gifts. So I cannot touch the gift. Um, I'm going to I'm going to be presenting the gift to the Yasser of Benin this week. I'm going to be presenting this gift to Yasser, so um, the Yasser of Benin, so he can he knows what he wants to do with it, whether he wants to present it to the Oba and all of that. The gifts were just too much. So um, I've left them on touch. I, I don't think because I was told they are quite very expensive. So, and um, I will not, um, that gift was presented to Benin Kingdom. And I tried to let them know that it wasn't Benin Kingdom per se, but I feel that, okay, maybe Benin Kingdom per se because we are all Benin Kingdom sent me. And, but I tried to let them know it wasn't the palace that sent me. I have an organization that I represent. Um, um, no, that link your entry, that's my website. Too. That's my own personal website, my business personal website. So, um, um, yeah, if I, I feel that the palace should, those who are very close to the palace, I'm going to use this video to plead to all of you. Those who are very close to the palace, I want to use this video to plead to all of you. It's high time. Obaisigi established 
an embassy in Lisbon. Obayashige established an embassy in Lisbon. Obayashige established an embassy in Lisbon. It is high time Oba should start creating ambassadors that will represent the kingdom interests in a lot of these descendants of Benin. Thank you. God bless you. So, I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh -huh. These are traditional cloths. Hmm. Understand? You know, I wrap up. You know, I skirt. I be skirt and blast. You understand? These are traditional clothes. Uh -huh. This is a cap. Obviously, my head big, well, well. You know, I enter. See, these are gifts that they presented, the king presented to us, all right? You know, see, me not they hide anything, no? Okay, these are gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Show you this, my cup. <laughs> these are gifts. You can see. So I'm presenting all these gifts to the Yasser of Benin. But this one final, it'll be like all those uh, this one be like this particular one, it'll be like if you tell Yasser me, leave this one for me. Uh, make I tell the go club. All these fine, fine Benin girls of you say <laughs> I be I be I be Cambodia bugger. <laughs> you understand? This are some of the gifts. You understand? They are used on follow-up. <laughs> All right, so these are gifts that was presented to us. You can see, I have it up by level, you know. Transparency is our key. Uh -huh. So I'm presenting everything to, I'm presenting everything to the Yase and the cloth, but like this cap, <laughs> this cap, I will use and follow up, I know the, uh, this cap, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, this one is the color and gold. I mean, I can't kidnap me. Oh. <laughs> but this cap, no, no. Eh, oh. If you're not, I don't want to buy. Eh, I are you. Mean? <laughs> All right. I'm very excited because because of the courtesy. Might leave this cap for head like this. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very excited because of the call to see that, how they received me and how welcoming they were. Knowing fully with that this way of the place that the ancestors left hundreds of years ago. Give them so many excitement. Took me into all their innermost chambers. They are even presented that. They are, they are, they are going to institute me part of their council. Like, Pass off their chieftaincy title. <laughs> now I say my papa still there alive. Oh, <laughs> I say my papa still there. Ah, uh -uh. you understand? This cap not there, all right? I don't see you, bad people. You're all jealous. They they even say it resemble their cap. They like it resemble their cap. Got people that beneath people. I'm not ready for that matter. <laughs> uh, so. So they they are they have been planning that I can tell you for free of uh, instituting me. That's what I was told. That the next time they are willing to want the so it it will be beautiful. Even if whether I accept or not, I might see other Benin person that are way older to follow me. They can accept the the end sense of this is that there should be mutual inhibition or absorption between the Nogwa and the Benin people. 
constantly will start going. It, it transcends be just beyond cultural things. There are a lot of Benin people who stays in Accra. All right, if the relationship begins to get stronger, they are not going to be start seeing these Benin people that live so much in Accra as Benin people. They are going to see it as, yes, they are our people. All right, it goes on. There are so much remarkable things that can come out from our mutual relationship. There's more to gain from all of this that meets even the eyes and the ears. And that's, and that's the vision I have envisioned many years ago. And that's what they even talked about a lot of these things. Messi, <laughs> Kwase, and what an hour fit in it. Understand? But now, person me get money, and I suppose they use this couple. Manani, we have to, we have to, we we'll have to pipe low. Uh, Christopher Jacobs, the Nongwa people are God people. It's just like saying, what is the difference between Orion or people, Yekorion or people, and Benin people? The Nongwa people are the oldest clown of the Ga people. The Nongwa people were the first people to get to the what you now call Accra. Every other Ga people came to meet the Nongwa people. So the Nongwa people are also Ga people. But it's a specialized, their, their closer identity. You say a Yoruba man, you say Yoruba people. But inside the Yoruba people, you now have Ekiti, you have Ondo, you have Ife, you have Oyo, but they are Yoruba people. That's why they are all Ga people. But the Nongwa people is the heart, is the traditional heart or the soul of the entire Ga people. And that's where the Nongwa people are the only people, is the people that give land to every other Ga people. So Otoyanora they are the owners of the entire Accra lands, where you now call the greater Accra. They own all of it. So any other people that came, came to meet them there, this Nongwa people. Mm. Do you not understand now, Mr. Christopher Jacobs? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh! <laughs> uh. Anyway, in all of um, in all of my fun talks, in all of my crazy talks, in all of my entertaining talks, you must take some very specific things out of it. The Benin people. must break out of their present day cocoon. A lot of things are happening outside. That's this smart. We might we might denigrate the honor of Ife. He's a very smart king. I tell people all the time. It's too smart. Smart. <laughs> the guy is moving. Sorry. The king is moving. Trying to build bridges. Even if those bridges that he's trying to build are not his to build. But he's trying to build them. He's moving. We should move too. Times have changed. Zuruwa Ikwa Tuwe Ematata and Ike Menita. Times have changed. Aga Soge do 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 a so on. Primordial sentiment no longer works in this 21st century. It's a complete bookum, complete badadash. Times have changed. We must we must we must invest in the spirit of diplomacy. The, the, the spirit of going out. 
to build bridges with people. Don't be fighting. As I know, we're not supposed to be fighting. That's why I've always said we should stop fighting. Let every ethnic group insult us. Just say, no problem, sir. No problem, sir. We have heard you, sir. No problem, sir. But while we are saying, sir, while we're doing ma, while we're doing this, we are moving. We are going to these people to tell them, look, 400 years ago, you were Benin people. This is what happened. This is what happened. You left. The colonial masters came. They tried to take you away from us because we had an history that, that was unbeatable. Please, let's come back together and find ways we can start building things together. Togetherness is strength. Unity is strength. Unity is one of the greatest forms of self-preservation. That's what I've told people. When you are in bulk, you tend to preserve more than when you are scattered. Because there will be, there will be a frantic effort, a, a conscientized effort to preserve what binds you. There's a renewed effort to have more historical research, research to bind, to find ways, practical ways, historically and otherwise. I to tell you the truth. <laughs> the guy is a smart. <laughs> the guy is smart. Finish. I know all the games that he plays. I know all the games that he plays. If Palace, eh? I see the token. I talk on. I did talk on for Bar, but let me say it for the first time in Palace, in public. If Palace give me 0 0.001, 0.005% support, hmm? Hmm? the kind of support, the kind of uh -huh, eh? you know, I, I don't want to say some certain things. If Palace give me the kind of support, Palace doesn't know to do anything. It's a megwa. I brag a lot. If you boost, if you boost sweat, if your boss, if your boss should do that in six months or one year, I will bring fifty kings, fifty within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. I don't know born on megwa every year. Zulu wa megwa wa. I love all. It's not. It's not. It's not the sky. Me I say it's a bonus. It's not the sky rocket science. It's an easy thing. I'm getting results in all of these places I've visited. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving you feminism. I'm giving you facts. It's what I have been doing for the past four years. Just support. Yeah. 50 for the first one year. I'm not saying after 10 years. <laughs> Hello. Uh, the facts are there. These people see themselves as Benin. All you just need to do is just to reenact it and convince them, put it in their mind that there's a turnaround. Garnish it with some good talks that the ancestors have blessed some of us with. Then everything will just be falling into place like uh, packs of cards. Kizoduwa can do it. Paz doesn't even need to do anything. As I can. I beat him to his game. I beat him to his game. I beat him to his game. He flatter your talk. Okay, make him move. Before he makes move. Do you know why I had to go? Because I was already told, the letters were sent to me of the movie has been making for the past two, three years. How he wanted to go and crown some chiefs in Accra, January 2020. How he wanted to go and crown some chiefs. The letter that he wrote, the, 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 the card that he printed, that he wanted to go and crown some chiefs in Accra, the letter was sent to me, and the letter that was signed by the overlord, the Bobo Wolomo, to the police to tell them that he has no rights, that he is the chairman 
of the traditional council of the Ga people. And as you have an overlord of the Ga people, the only has no light, right to come and institute or crown chiefs in the Ga land. I have a letter. That was January, January 2020. I will send the letter. Then because of the COVID, that's why I couldn't attend. And thank God that I was able to attend this year. And it should not stop there. That's where we that's where we actually also miss it. It should be a continuous effort. They are going to come by December. They must come. And even before December, eh? if I'm stressed, if you have been one or two weeks, one week, two weeks, if you have been a holiday, you have been a holiday in Nigeria, you have been a holiday, you have been a holiday. These are tactics. These are tactics. If you have been a holiday, if you, you understand with you are their traditional food and their traditional women too. Very important. That's coercion. <laughs> no, 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 no. If I, I think that I would not, um, I would not condone that. Don't use our words, please. It's offensive and it's denigrating. We shouldn't use our word, please. It's wrong. Don't use our word. I think you should delete that. Hmm? Please. So, in all of this, please, I, I'll continue. I'll continue to plead to the consciousness of all of our Edo people for, for us all to have a consented effort to, to find practical ways to get things done. We're running out of time. Everyone is moving with the pace of the speed of the rocket or the speed of the light. We are still and and we are still very slow. We have a forum like this forum to interact with ourselves and make practical effort to get some of these things done. To get some of these things done. We don't have any choice. Benin is the only home we ever have. Benin is the only home. So we have to find ways to make it as great, prosperous as possible. It is um it is a lifetime commitment. It is a lifetime commitment that I've always dedicated the better part of my later years of this life that I've lived on. And um, I'll do all my best. All right. Well, together we'll have to find ways to get a lot of these things done. First, we have to first of all accept we're not great anymore. I've always been saying that. If we accept that, it's 50% victory or we're not great anymore. Then when you know that you're no longer great, ah, we were once great, we're no longer great. Okay, why you were? Adwazi, okay. It be only on as a dead egg be. Why you were? What do we not do? We're no longer great. Okay, what do we not do? Adwazi, okay. You're not going to be a great 
and we are willing to restore. I know there are so many miscreants that our Benin society has elevated. Like that miscreant called the oil for Horomi. I call it a miscreant because a lot of persons might not know what's going on. It's a miscreant. It's considered a miscreant. I've been told of all the atrocities he commit. And I'm telling you for free. Where I'm talking from is a horror me. Where my apartment is, where I've rented, where I stay now is a horror me. And a woman so told when I'm telling you, I'm not telling you as an outsider, I'm telling you because I'm in that same community that he presides over. It's a bloody miscreant. And when these people are the ones that are now representing the interests of Benin, that are now push, that are now my brother, anyway. On I do too, yeah, No, we have a lot of miscreants that not represent us. They, be, they, they look like the eyes, the face of the adult land. But we have very educated, bright, aspiring, doing well in young adult people. I meant one of our brother in Accra. He's doing very well. I was hosted in this palace. You know, I'm sure that guy is not doing, he's, he's doing very very well. And I told him, when was the last time you ever came to Benin? He said, very long time ago. And I was like, oh, I was seeing me here in Zodua, but I don't understand. 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 I Funny aspect of this whole matter. You know what? pains me more in all of this matter. They'll be fighting for lands and properties of people who genuinely bought many years ago. They'll be from Ibuide. But when issues, when Benin national issues, like when we had the jaw crisis, when we have the security crisis, when we have this bloody jot Ibos, these bastards of the people near Tegbo that wants to institute is in Digbo in our land. You will not say any of them will not say anything. But these people command machineries, guns, weaponries to be killing their own fellow Benin people. Who has suffered so much in overseas to invest in their own land? You will see an Edoma killing an Edoma for Oviegon. Then when an Oviegon and I you see all of them in La Wadia, in And the, the, the people think that, that, people think that that's all right. People think that that's okay. That, that is not okay. That is not okay. That's supposed not to be okay. When I hear some Benin people calling me of how one a Nogi or one Ohe, or what, what what concerns on here and land in the first place? On hands are meant to propitiate the deities of a particular a particular deity in a community on behalf of the urban. What are concerns on when with the selling of lands, most especially selling of land with that same audacity of barbarity? And I'm not going to But when we are going to do, you and I fight every day. For the commoner interest of our land. Have we been fighting for the atrocity that the governor wanted to cause? Is it not you and I that have been fighting? The same people is fighting us in our land. They will not come out and say any of this thing. So, yeah, you will be man and wa. My area, so we are defended though, the social media. We are defended through social media. 
Yes, I will be my wife at be my way. But when when trouble, when a foreigner brings a trouble to a door land, that's why I hit all politicians with my last blood. None of them. All of them. Because how many of them in days of this crisis, having said Debo and all of this, how many of them did you see came out when we had the Shekiri crisis, when we had crisis with Shekiri at Olobo, when we had the jaw crisis at Gilegile? How many of these people did you see came out? Then someone will now say, I should come and vote for either Obaseki or Isaiah Yamo tomorrow. Because for the fact that two of them were beneath people who had never spoken on before for a dull land, I did not vote for any of them. The only Edoma I can vote for is an Edoma who is already speaking on behalf of the Edo people before he or she became a politician. Why would I vote for an Edoma who, does, who has never really cared about the Edo people, who doesn't fight for the Edo land, only fight for their pocket and for their common interest? That is why Zodowa doesn't get involved in their nonsense politics. I don't talk about it. Nobody calls me and tells me about politics. He did it down with your phone. The major reason I'm even talking to Obaseki on a lot of all of these things is because no, yeah, no, not can go. If it was, if it was another person, what can I? What can I? So I don't understand. These people don't care about you. Do you know an adult person that cares about you? A adult person that has never been given power before, but is speaking on behalf of you. Go and check the records. None of these people have ever spoken on behalf of adult people before. Was it not an Edo people on this platform that raised about 280000 for me to embark on that trip? That trip cost me over 500000 Outside the 280000 that was raised, that was raised for me, I spent over, over 200000 of my own. I had to do COVID, COVID test four times. That cost about 30000 $30, Four times. That's about 120000 Lodging in hotel. While while I was leaving, everything was paid for when I was in a crash. And when I came back, a lot of that. I spent over 200000 of my money. It's nothing. Plus the addition of about 280000 that this has raised for me. That's self-sacrifice. I wasn't going to gain from it. Nobody's going to put money in my pocket because I went there. The gift I was presented to, a lot of people go and hide it and go and sell. Because some of them are good. But I will never do that. I'm not, by nature, I'm not, I've never always seen these things as important. They are ephemeras. What is most important is me being sitting in front of this live video and telling our people our history. That is what is most important to me. Inspiring our people as much as I can. Understand? Telling them that this is and this is no longer part of us. We became too self-centered. Nobody talks about Nobody talks about all of this. All of what all of these people talked about is themselves. That's the greed that has always erupted all of them. I can't say an Edo man that is going to bring 500,000, 1 million, even if they have 500 million in their backyard for okay, Gayasin, you say Edo. It's practically terrible. Then how would we be great again as a people when none of our people? Are selfless. Even a lot of people who talk on social media, I know them. By the time you tell them to bring 5,000 on a Benin advocacy, they will never bring a dime. But yet I know that they are living very fine and big in their respective houses and their respective homes. But this was with me. I left my business to travel hundreds, hundreds of miles and hundreds of kilometers to Accra, not to go and do business, but to try and let them know that we are one. It wasn't convenient for me. It wasn't convenient for me. But I had to do that. And that's what I've been doing for four years. I'm not saying I'm the best person. I've met people who have inspired me. Like people, Mr. Akurigo, but by who has sacrificed his entire half of his entire life for the advocacy of that he has made more sacrifice. I learned so much from him. And I'm grateful. I didn't learn anything from any of these politicians. 
if, if I have been with this, all these politicians, I would have been as self-centered and greedy as they are. That's why I don't get close. If you are a politician, you see call where I work, and then where I don't get close to a politician for whatever reasons. Why? Because they're self-centered. They don't care about you or me. They're probably thinking of how to steal even more from Edonigo Ebeye. You understand? So let's let's start changing our orientation about the things that we can do to elevate this land. Let's start changing our orientation. It will help. Okay? Let's start changing our orientation about this land, about our people. It will help. We have to be selfless. That is a characteristics that we no longer possess as a people. And I keep hammering on it. If you are not selfless, how can you give to your land? You can't. And it's tiring. It's tiring. I just hope I could open the head of our do people and put the spirit of selflessness into them. If you're giving 50000 or 100000 to a beginning cost, if you are not doing it for that person, you give 50000 100000 That's what you shouldn't. That's what a lot of people should know. You are not doing it for him. You are doing it for your land. Because whatever the success, a lot of people have always reached out to me that they want to help sponsor a lot of these things. I've always declined. I think the very first time in a long time that I've accepted money from people was this my trip to Accra. And I even, and I even used over 200,000 of my personal money in the, in the entire trip. And that's the truth. And that's, and that's the truth. But in all of this, I was grateful because people showed interest in contributing. The joy that our people contributed 1,000, it's more joyous than one person giving me 2 million. You guys are wonderful. You guys are wonderful. I must have to say that. You guys that have been contributing one way or the other, selflessly, to the cause. We might be few. We might be few. But time will reward us all. And um, I pray that whatever we do, we do it with the whole of our strength. I always tell people that when you do things, do not always, don't ever put the army in well, That's not selflessness. In all of this, I've never always thought about, um, I've not always thought about I have to I have to get gains for what I do. I think I've been I've been blessed. I've been gaining. As a matter of fact, I've been gaining. I've been gaining a lot. Do you know I've had I, I deal with I deal with lands. Do you know a lot of people has bought lands from me without even seeing the land that they bought from me? Do you know a lot of people have done survey and see of all for that even if other people were doing it in three months and probably I couldn't deliver in eight months. And when their family members are, oh my, where was that? I've seen people trust me with a lot of their money in the past a year or two because they feel that I would not fail them. And God and our ancestors help me. My bragging rights. I will not fail them, and I can never fail people. It is not in my place. I've, I've worked for over one, close to 1,000 people or more. Nobody can ever come out to me and say that. Muni Gizu Duwa or Mawe, on a 5,000, on a 1,000. In the past three years that I've been doing, or three years, three, three, 2019, about two years plus, that I've been running my business. Because I feel it's unbeneath like for a benign man to cheat another person, not to think about his own benign person. It's unbeneath like. Why would I do that? All of the things that I, it's like a practical, um, it's a practical, anything I do, I was like, I talk about all of these things every day. The market 
if you're doing it, yeah, the, the, one of the one of the, the true characteristics of, of an adult person is integrity, is honest shall not lie. So I try to remind my own self of these virtues every day in order for me not to cheat my own brother, in order for me not to put my brother in a problem that will lead him to saying that he's so do So, If I, I, I might not even know you because I don't know your name. <laughs> Maybe now another name I they use if I you did force your for me. So no matter how terrible it is, I must always deliver. So and I've had I think I've been blessed with that. All right. And that is why every opportunity that I get, I try to give back to our people. If the same money they are giving me. I try to give it back to our people with my only two way. So that's how it's supposed to work. I think that's how they built the Israeli economy. The Israeli, the Israeli group. They try to allow the money reverse around themselves. It's a secret of economic empowerment for the people. So I think that's all for now. I said a lot and I'll keep saying a lot. So uh oh, okay. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> so I think I don't know who they talk now. If I <laughs> so that means oh I yeah and one in Ubo. I yeah one in Ubo. That that would be that will be Madame Omo Sebu. Omo Sebu. Mm, I got that. <laughs> so they use two names. So I don't uh, I don't know who they use. I don't bust your bubble <laughs> for saying that I crash it. I keep I keep I have I have a very good memory of everybody that I've worked for. So whenever they you tell me this location, this location, I'll just remember. So I remember you. Yeah. Madam Omo said I remember you. I say I have about two of his cousins. Who gave me a job? One Peter Segbe and all of that, but I've not done that work for them. But their files, I've done this. I think I've done the survey for them. Their files are still on my table. I think I saw it a few days ago. I have a whole lot of files. So yeah, I remember. <laughs> okay, you actually sent me fifty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> you actually sent me. Thank you very much, ma. <laughs> now that I know you. So she actually supported with the trip for 50, with 50,000, I remember. Thank you very much. <laughs> so in all of this, I want to... I don't already tell them now. I don't already tell them. I don't, I don't bust your bubble. <laughs> mm. Anyway. So I thank all of you. All right. Um... So I thank all of you for for all of the support that you've rendered me, and um, I appreciate all of you. And uh, the least I can always do is to always be around to talk about critical issues that has it's affecting us as a people. And um, I, I see, I don't see him. And the other one, I just serious, I can't. So. I um, appreciate all of you for for lending your voices um, to the societal decadence of our land, and um, we should never always forget that we should continually lend our voices. So what we think we can actually do for this land and how we can actually elevate our land. This land is for all of us. 
this 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 <laughs> I know we'll tell you I move <laughs> I will not bust a bubble. I already know her. <laughs> So I'm going to continually, I'm going to continually, I'm going to continually give um, all my best to all that we can do for this land, just as I will also implore all of us to continually uh, do the same for our our land it is most important a woman a rock my eye and a kubo kubi naya goba dole do you um we will get there someday but we have to start now so that we can get there someday so i thank all of you um who had made it very practically possible for me to add, um, embark on that journey to Accra. It meant a lot. We have more information to defend our history, to defend our land. We have more information to, to, to present in our later lives that we have lived a very great journey and we're trying to create um, the legacies that we have leave all of us. That is what humanity is for. We have to create a legacy that leaves you. Uh, when Isodua was around, this was how much of the impact that he has made. Sometimes I fail to even realize I've imparted a lot of a lot of people until they get to call me that well I've been they have been blessed, they have been inspired by a lot of my works many years ago. And I will always, always support that which is right. That which is right. That which is right. So I thank all of you. I thank um, may God continually bless all of us. And um, so let's continue to understand that, irrespective of our, uh, how do I put it? How do I put it? Let me use a very better word irrespective of uh, our pain, our inner pain, all right, we should always acknowledge the position of the Obar of the name in our history, in our lives, and in our legacies. Because it's the very fountain where we draw our strength from. And that is when, when our brother, when our, one of us, I don't know whether it's still one of us. Try is trying to fight the authority of that which, which is the fountain of the billion people. We must rebuke him. Whether it's me, whether it's anybody, we must rebuke. If you have any grievances against the palace, I've always said it. It is not supposed to be done publicly. A lot of people will always have grievances about the palace. Do you know what they have grievances against the palace? But it's not, it is not for the public hearing. The children must always disagree with their father. It happens. It will always continually to happen. It will not be our, our turn first. It will not be the first thing. It will happen. It has always happened all through our, all the, through our the decades and millennium of our history. People get to disagree with the monarch. Sometimes, few of them won, basically because their disagreement was genuine. But it was resolved within the confines of uh, of the authority of the other. So when you have an agreement, take it off the public space. I always say that it's the wisest thing to do. It's the wisest thing to do. And we should always learn to always take our bar off our conversation. 
so that na do an na so do an chale chala tolo e no ma heke so we should always learn to take over of our conversation so that they have money matter say do ari elu de adu moba like me so and do you know do a few bege go so i money ma say when when i ha and he might say by all the ramifications of life you understand so okay uh -huh. you know so with all of these um, issues going on with the palace and there are no issues i've always said it it's just uh, disagreement i said in the last video and i prefer solutions in between the palace and the the other beginning I said, he said, we should always pray for him. We should stop insulting the governor, because the governor of Edo State. Rather, because the Oba said, if we want to always listen to what the Oba said, so our fathers told us, no salo boari ni kaori bo kaori on, no ya we minokba, Obama we not here, but now Obama we not here. Um, down. I do it here. Um, down. Hey, but from henceforth I won't because I've now recollect that Obama we not near. So if our father, not just our father, our God King, I said this is what we should do as a do. Obama he cannot do what we are doing. He is near. Ba ni runeni no salubari e head do yo e hoy. Won bendi kiti o ye gwen. E mani bo mai ni ya ha. O ye gwen ti e. No salubari e hoge do ni se se si ne. So da no e we. E mi ne guaita e do ya we me. Abe e do e. A do it suma, but if you no reho, if you up by do, my suma aki we no reho ima. We do we do the same thing, even without planning it. That that <clears throat> we just see ourselves start taking the same line. Without am I doing it? Am I doing koyo? I was my way me up by do it suma, if you up by do that sort of a thing. So please. I want to tell everybody to desist from insults. There's nothing I have done. I've done all the spiritual, mathematical, physical calculation. There's no way Obaseki will win. They are not fighting for any positions. I'm just saying there's no way all of these things he wants to actualize, he can actually actualize them. So there, there's no need to even give him an asium or iota of the fact that he's winning. You hey, have told him, the entire Edo people have told him our minds. Edo people have told him our minds. And the Oba have told him, the Oba have told us his own mind. And what the Oba have said corresponds with all, the, all of what they do, people. I mean, I won't do it, though. I won't do it, I must say 5%. I mean, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. But Salobwa will say, no, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. So, oewe oku ni ame ba on mi oto. So, oga akbe don. So, gya ane rune. Iriri matay. Oye na ane rune. So, nwa lao. Nwa amwe rune. Nwa salo ba anon re kore do yo e kore. That's the only prayer that I'll continue to pray for him. That's my own type of prayer. That God should give him the heart of an edoma. Not just honorary Edoma. Nisi, si, si. And Edoma doesn't think like an Igbo. Man, even I have a monkey face in it. 
I, I, I don't mean that things like evil people, but an Edoma that thinks purely like an Edoma. That's, that's a prayer that we should put in. That's my type of prayer. Anybody can also pick another prayer point and pray for me. <laughs> I don't know, Ghana. So, anyway, um, we'll, come, we'll come to the conclusion of today's program and um, I thank all of you who are, who are very particular about my program. So I'm going to see you all on Sunday next week. Oh, oh sorry, on Sunday and next week, you know, okay. uh, coming Sunday by 7.30. Um, Seven thirty p.m. Okay, and um, let's talk about history. A very interesting topic will be unveiled that day. So I thank all of you, and uh, no, 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 he, he certainly will not be able to pay his way through if that's what you think. Won't be able to pay the way through. He won't be able to. He knows it's not a battle that he will win. I've done all the geometry, the trigonometry. He's a very smart person. You must give him that. He never actually taught it to go through this. And the Oba Benin has smarted him, actually. He has made it very bad. And with all the evidence criminating out, we cannot see clearly that he has been lying all through. He's trying to play an hanking, packing game. He cannot win. He already knows. But let's not um, you uh, elogize his, his loss so that it doesn't seem like a victory. Let's not elevate his obvious defeats so it doesn't start seeing like a victory. So I see I got near on it. In a room, I've been near on it. When the salo boy was salo dazi no yah go yah me. I've been nikau. Ihenui. Eh, bon eh, bonon yah he. The two hundred and one gods and deities of the Dolan. I be cardeline, no buyer de doi. I be mimi zia, no giredo. Ni a you boy, yo e koi, no ya we no ba. You know, these are some of the things we're supposed to be talking about. And that's just from insulting him. By virtue of his position as a governor, and by the virtues that we have been in people. We respect our elders. Mama Jela, if you eat more, ni more go, ne, ni why? By the virtues of that, we should respect him and pray to and pray for him, just like our father had instructed us. So, it may me a matter now. Me, bag man, me, I'm not going to discuss this matter again until uh, we the baby we the star we like. I will get to you. Mm. You know, Pupu Kawa Ogbenye. Pupu Kawa, I will get to you. The boy, I will not get to you. I will not get to you. I will final punch. I will not get to you. 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 It's expected. Because he wants to now by the federal the Wati letter now went by the federal and the do state constitution power. So do I able him. In a do land, in a do, I've always told people the government is not bigger. I'm saying it not because I'm not aware of the power of the government. I'm very much aware. I'm not an illiterate. I'm literate. It's Kuno Ikwe Maseve in Nigeria and EU. You, I'm literate enough to understand that how powerful the federal, the, the state government, or the local government chairman, the local government by the constitution is, is big enough to even depose a king by the constitution. 
But I'm saying that all of those things hands in the 35 states and federal capital territory of, the, of, of Nigeria doesn't work with the other of the league. I'll say that authoritatively. Let's not play politics with this. I know politicians who are in AP show wants to. We shouldn't take any politicians serious on this matter. The people they are supposed to be listening to on this matter are people like us who are, who are neutral to any political party or to any politician or to anything. I don't want an allegiance to any politician at all in this life, in next life, in next three life, in next four life. My allegiance is not to them. They are all bloody liars. We have a clarity of purpose about when we talk, we are not talking from a political perspective or being political by us. We are talking from a plain view of things. So many as you do I so no allow now you are near name no more high you only text it uh cow no man uh kawadi in the any or in a zoo we bill but our zoo we be uh wild look on money uh park cut in our view on a man to be devastating. But yeah, yeah, he more by a worry. So, but see, I I can't knock in one stick. One stick I knock in. One stick I want knock in. So, yeah, I hear that. No, yes, the oh, oh, man, why? Nezu will be already in Zoo. Go, Joe. I worry the second stick. You know, you wear it. I mean, I check up. Anyway, in all of these, I, I, I sorry, I joke a lot. That's that's how I am in real, in real life. But in all of my joke, bypass my jokes. I give you reality. I give you reality. It's been given a very hard knock. All right. There's a, there's a tendency for two things. If it's humble enough, and if the prayer that we've been praying for him since Oba said we should pray for him works, he should know that I have lost. It's not a matter of who won or what, but within himself, he should be convinced that he didn't win. Let it just allow sleeping dog life. The artifact that are coming, he should go and submit it in the Abbas palace. That is a sign of a wise man. But you see, one thing about pride, the pride that comes with power, it is always there. It is not only a basket that have it. There's a tendency that if I become the governor, I might have it. But I can never fight the authority of the Oba of Benin, actually. No matter what the pride is, there's a pride that comes with power. It's always there. 98% or 99% of the world population have it, but it doesn't get to particular power. There's a pride that comes with it most always like, you now you went now you're about being your use it back on that ground that's that sort of thing i'm not saying that's what the context i'm not saying there's there's a fighting there's an imbroglio between two of them i'm just giving you i just you know how some of these pride begins to speak some <laughs> some garbage into the brain you know because now you the over being here you not see the way uh gaduja tea tea knock uh emma of kano you come on like that you're deposing you know you know if you do something if that nonsense talk enter your head, second stick out here, you know. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If he's wise enough, he should go and settle with his father. So that all of these things we've been talking about can be amicably sorted, out. And all of these things should be done according to the details of the overall opinion. That's what we're just saying according to the details of the owner of the Oba Abinim. So when that one is done, you will not be remembered, you will be forgiven that uh, it was just the, 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 the exuberance of the cabinet of the you know, sand. Then you start dealing with them. Any Benin mind is cabinet who is aiding and abating them. We we'll wait for them in 2023, after 2020. Then they come and say that <laughs> here are contest the Senate, here are contest the House of Assembly, here are contest the Bukokba Yagbenya. 
Anyway, I'm almost losing my network, so. How about up here? So I want to thank all of you who has uh, paid a critical um, attention to all my programs. I thank all of you. You people are great. Continue to, to share my platform. My platforms are very educative. We don't talk nonsense. Of our propaganda, we we'll say 500 views, you know, 1,000 views in it. I like it propaganda. I'm going to say why not. That is why we're no longer growing. We like nonsense talk. There are no nonsense talk here. Even if I have 100 views, I know that there are 100 serious-minded Edo persons who are willing to make the change and drive the change that we are hoping for, that we are aspiring for. That is how it is. So I thank all of you, and God bless all of you. So uh, I'll see you again um, uh, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Oba talk by you, he said.